now we'll see what is intermolecular forces and what are the different types we have intermolecular forces so theoretical just you need to know the definitions and all that is it nothing much so intermolecular forces are generally very <coughs> weak forces okay and total we have four types of intermolecular forces right so there are write down there are four types of intermolecular forces known there are four types of intermolecular forces intermolecular forces known in the neutral molecules neutral molecules okay these four types are first of all you write down the name first we have dipole dipole interaction dipole dipole interaction the second one we have dipole and induced dipole dipole and induced dipole interaction one second guys yeah dipole dipole interaction dipole induced dipole interaction and the third type we have that is london dispersion forces london dispersion forces and the last one is hydrogen bonding which we had already discussed hydrogen bonding correct so these are the four types of intermolecular forces we have okay correct 
So we'll discuss this one by one. See, dipole-dipole interaction means what? Let me just explain you first. What is a dipole? Okay, dipole means what? We have you know uh, two poles here. One is suppose positively charged, other one is negatively charged. Right. Okay. So this we call it as a dipole. You have a rod. One side of the rod, suppose positive charge is there, and on other side is negative charge. Small length. Length should not be too big. Okay. So this rod then it behaves as a dipole because it has two poles. Correct. So if any electric field is there, so this electric field if it acts on this charge in this direction, so on the positive charge it will be in opposite direction. Right. So in in presence of an electric field, it has a tendency to rotate like this because of force acting in the opposite direction. Torque basically happens over here. So all these things are not required here in chemistry. These things you will study in in physics. Okay. But this is what the dipole is. Two poles we have there. At the two end, one side we have positive charge, one pole. Other side negative charge, another pole. Right. In chemistry, what happens when you talk about the dipole? So we have suppose a molecule, correct? Like for example, if I talk about this NH three, okay, or, or I'll take the sorry, NH three. I'll take NH three. We'll have right. So how do we, you know, think of a dipole in a molecule like this? Okay. So dipole in a molecule like this, we can understand because the electronegativity difference between the atom which are bonded. Like you see, nitrogen is highly electronegative, so it is delta negative, delta positive, delta positive, and delta positive. So each bond here it is behaving as a dipole because again the length is small and positive negative charge at the two end, right? So it is behaving as a dipole here. Correct, and that is what the meaning of dipole-dipole interaction we have. It is basically exist in polar molecules because of this electronegativity difference. The mu of this, the dipole moment, is not equals to zero, right? And hence, it is polar molecule. If dipole moment is zero, then the molecule is said to be non-polar. Correct. So dipole-dipole interaction, like I said, it is possible in two polar molecules. Okay, I'll just try, take this separately. Also, let me just two points. Let me just write down here: two polar molecules. It exists between polar and polar molecules. When we talk about dipole and induced dipole, so induced dipole means because of one of the dipole that one dipole has been induced. Or introduce into the another molecule. So this is for dipole is with polar molecule, and induced dipole is with non-polar molecule. So when a polar molecule comes closer to a non-polar molecule, then this negative charge, okay, also attracts this towards this side. The electron pair will be on the other side. So this was non-polar, but when it comes closer to a polar molecule, this also induces some charge into this. And hence, it is acting as an instant dipole. We say an instant dipole creates in this neutral molecule, which was non-polar initially, right? So this kind of dipole-dipole dipole interaction that we have, <clears throat> we call it as dipole-induced dipole interaction. So basically, dipole-induced dipole interaction is possible in one molecule which is polar, other one other molecule is non-polar. Correct. So let's discuss this one by one. Hydrogen bonding we are not going to discuss because we have done this already in chemical bonding chapter. Let's discuss these three one by one. So write down the first point: dipole-dipole interaction. Dipole-dipole interaction. Write down. <clears throat> this force exists between two polar molecules. In short, I'll write down here between two polar molecules. Between two polar molecules, it is weaker than.
weaker than ion dipole forces ion dipole forces an effective when an effective when when polar molecules are very close are very close it increases with increases with the molecular size dipole moment if molecular size is more molecular weight is also more correct so sometimes we also say molecular weight so molecular size and dipole moment we have more dipole moment more will be the interaction because the two bonds you see this the two bonds are close enough positive negative and one more we have here negative positive positive negative so this is the interaction we have between the opposite charge this interaction is dipole dipole interaction we have okay so for this dipole dipole the two molecule must be polar then only we have charge separation like this okay the second one you write down the second one we have dipole induced dipole induced dipole yeah one second i'll go back Done. Okay. Next, see dipole induced dipole. For dipole induced dipole, it is possible between a polar molecule and a non-polar molecule. Polar and non-polar molecule. okay if you look at this molecule which is polar right so it has positive and negative charge like this dipole if the another molecule comes which is non polar comes closer to this okay then this positive charge will attract the electron so this electron will come closer to this side because it's the positive charge is attracting electron and another side this side becomes a relatively positive so this kind of dipole creates into this this we call it as induced dipole you keep it away you remove this particle from this point other side right this dipole won't be there again you come closer to this we'll have a dipole closer to this molecule so this molecule we call it as here it is a induced dipole induced dipole correct dipole dipole interaction that is induced dipole this is dipole and induced dipole interaction we have polar and non polar molecules this kind of forces we also call it as de by forces dipole induced dipole we also call it as de by forces 
uh, this this is also very weak even it is weaker than weaker than dipole dipole forces weaker than dipole dipole forces okay next it increases with it increases with first one the dipole moment of polar molecule dipole moment of polar molecule and second is polarizing power polarizing power of non polar molecule means how easily this non polar molecule can polarize polarizing power of non polar molecule then okay the third one is london dispersal forces write down it exists between non polar molecules right two non polar molecules it is due to due to the random motion random motion of electrons in one atom of one atom comma an instant dipole instant dipole creates in the second atom in the second atom which influences which influences the motion of electron in another molecule or atom molecule or atom correct it is mainly for uh, like noble gases like for example if i take the example of helium okay this is a helium molecule we have okay helium has two electrons so for any instant you see for any instant the two electron is residing on this side then this side will be delta negative partially and this side will be delta positive okay now this positive charge it creates a dipole here this positive charge will attract this electron towards this side so these electrons will be here then 
delta negative and delta positive. So both molecules, you can say the dipoles is being induced here in both the molecules. It is not like that this you know will be there always. It is because of motion of electron. The electron is continuously moving, right? For any fraction of second, right? Or for any, you know, for any fraction we can say, you cannot even imagine the smallest, the time over here because position of electron we cannot, you know, define, right? But for example, or for any instant, if the two electron resides here, right? For suppose one tenth of a fraction of second, right? For that time also, if the electron, you know, resides this this part, this side here, then this side becomes partial negative charge, that is delta negative. So this side will be delta positive. Now at this moment, this positive charge will attract the electrons of the other molecule. Hence, it influences the motion of electrons in the other molecule. This attracts this electron towards this side, and hence here also a dipole creates. This kind of force of attraction that we have here is London dispersion force. It will be there for, you know, you can say one by thousand times of a fraction of seconds. You cannot even imagine for how small, for how long, you know, time obviously, because electron is continuously moving, right? It has wave property. So it will be very, you know, for a very small time, you cannot even imagine that time. Plus it is very weak also, since the electron is continuously moving. So if you talk about the strength of these uh, kind of, uh, you know, intermolecular forces, all are weak forces, but among this, among all these, uh, you know, intermolecular forces, dipole dipole is the strongest one. And then, you know, this one, dipole induced dipole and then London dispersion forces. Okay. London dispersion forces increases with, it increases with with first of all, the number of electrons, if more number of electrons in the gun, then the strength will be more number of electrons, molecular size, and then polarizability. is the three condition we have. Hydrogen bonding we have already done, so I'm not doing it here again. So this is the intermolecular forces we have, different types of intermolecular forces. Right, diffusion, infusion we have done already. Yes. Then all of you. Okay. Now. Sorry. Now, 